here the, to, uh, the in this video topic is views right uh, views nothing but view is a virtual table whose data is defined by a query right the base syntax of view look like the following so here we have the keywords uh, like see create view uh, name of the view as uh, select column column id like this see previously pre when we are creating index how we create like uh, create index index name on table and columns col uh, columns in parentheses and give the condition where condition right here is a little bit different than comparing to uh, indexes uh, create view, uh, view uh, name of the view as and again we have to write the select statements here uh, by using view we can uh, we can uh, create a virtual table from the uh, base table and we can join uh, we can get uh, uh, different 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 columns from different different tables also right uh, we're coming to index index only uh, applicable for one table but here view you can collect different different columns from different different tables also right and you can hide the sensitive data with by using views let's see how it could be how it will be right so uh, here anytime anywhere uh, any anytime anyone queries the view the select statement in the view will be executed against the database okay let's go through uh, for example let's see uh, here we are selecting some columns from a table of employees and one of the column we are selecting is salary right so salary is some sensitive information right uh, and because of this let's say we want some people we want some people to be uh, able to query data from the employees table right so uh, we want to hide salary but we won't uh, we don't want these people to see the salary column right we want to hide the salary here how to hide the salary one way we can limit the access is to create a view which includes only the columns that we want to be made visible right so we would execute the salary column from the so sorry we will exclude the salary column from the table so let's first execute the salary column from the table and now uh, all we need to turn this into a view is to add the following statements see create view employee info like this and by executing we can create a we can create a view right so the view can now the uh, now you can query you can query it in by using select statement like for example if you write it like uh, select star from employees info then we will get that uh, data like this it will be it will excluded the salary column right to restrict the information that we can see to summarize like a table a view consists of uh, named columns and rows of data see unlike a table a view has no physical representation what i mean by this is this is the data in a view is not stored in any disk right instead a view typically queries based tables uh, i say typically uh, queries uh, based tables because you may have a view which references which references another view or references right a function or uh, maybe a function etc but in most cases a view will query tables uh, so in other words a view fetches data from underlying tables when we query the view let's now take a look at some characteristics of views see every column in a view must have a name right so that name must meet the some naming requirements as a base table for example a column name cannot start with uh, an order by cannot be used in a view order by cannot be used by uh, top right see uh, not uh, please do not use select top 100 percent uh, or to buy as a workaround uh, this will not uh, guarantee the order of rows Uh, this will allow you to create the view but it will not order the rows as you expect so this will not work as an effective uh, workaround right In interestingly if some other databases such as oracle you can include an order by clause in a view and that works fine however at least at the time of uh, recording this video you cannot use the order by clause uh, uh, just by itself in a like just by itself in a view uh, another thing to be aware of when creating a view is that you can modify base table data for a 
simple view so you can modify base table data through a simple view some so some use can some use you can actually issue a update and say delete statement and it will go further a change in the base table also so there are many solutions uh, situations where where this won't work if you have more complex view right such as such as one that has a group because so that's something to be aware of let's take a, a look at when you might use the view right see views can be used to provide security limit access a user can have access to views that select only a subset of columns from a table right you can be used to uh, simplify a data model like you could have a view which has a complex select statement which joins multiple tables i already told multiple tables and or aggregates data users can then query the custom made view to simplify reporting queries as <coughs> you can take a required columns from different different tables and they can uh, combine and you can use that is can use can then query the custom made view to simplify reporting queries right you can hide this complexity from the end user and users can then query the custom made view to simplify reporting queries Sim simplify their reporting queries that's it that's it from use right uh, let's see later topic right uh, normalization and all uh, as of now that the most important topics from sql server i covered uh, right uh, remaining some of advanced topics are there uh, if it not necessary just uh, just for knowledge purpose it will knowledge purpose you can see up to views these are these are the important topics for interviews and for and all right up to views please practice well and remember the topics what i covered up to views right thank you thank you so much